So I want to pose a question to those that are critical of me and many of those who are walking by faith in Jesus. Now, there are those out there that, you know, hold to the worldly principles, thinking that a man has to work to become financially successful. And anybody that is is not in that way of doing so will be criticized. I have encountered these same people in the body. And recently I was told by a brother that there was this woman that was in my church that while I was gone for a time from that exact church, that she was, you know, critical of my faith walk. And, you know, this is not a, a, a video showing bitterness or anything. It's more or less to, you know, really challenge the thinking of these people that are critical, of these brothers and sisters who rather than walk in understanding and God's love would rather cr criticize somebody. So let us look at Hebrews 11.1, 1, the King James Version. It says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. What is the difference between what Elijah, Elisha, Jesus, they had walked in faith for something that they didn't see, yet God granted it to them. How is anybody that is walking in faith for provision any different? Hebrews 11.1 1 more or less talks and really centers around that concept. These same people who are so critical of me and others, have they ever read that verse? That's the question I'm wondering. If they had, they wouldn't be so critical. Or maybe they're just thinking that, you know, that's just talking about receiving Jesus by faith. What they're doing is they're looking at things from, and just so you know, my cat is here again. What they're doing is they're looking at things and trying to understand them from the worldly position. You know, and they have never, you know, asked God for something and waited for it by faith. Now, what I want to pose a question to these same critical people that, you know, you ask Jesus in, do you believe by faith that you are saved? And many would say, yeah. Well, it's that same faith that you're exercising that you are so critical of these brothers and sisters who are walking in faith for God's provision. They've taken it a step further in not only asking Jesus in by faith, but relying on his provision. So where are, you know, where are you being critical from? Is it the standpoint of this world? Or do you have any kind of verse in the Bible that states that it's okay for man to become financially successful and that God doesn't like when somebody stand, you know, walks in faith for, you know, his provision? Where in the Bible does it say that? So when you ask Jesus in, it is that same faith, you know, that substance and things hoped for. You know, when you're asking Jesus in, you're doing so relying on God's love and his grace and his mercy to forgive your debt of sin and to save you. It's that same faith you're exercising and it's the same faith that these people that are asking God for something by faith is exercising. Another point that I want to make is you are somebody that is critical of somebody that's walking in faith. Well, have you ever spoke with anybody that you're critical of? Have you ever talked to them to find out what God has said and what God has done in their life? Or do you just go to somebody else and just you know, criticize them. Now, the point that I want to make is if you have never talked to these people, then you're missing out on information. And because of your critical, you know, nature, or, you know, your critical thinking that you haven't seen the most important point in, you know, these people's testimony. 
and this point is these people are walking in faith for provision or anything else they're doing so by faith they're under that pressure you know in waiting and God is dealing with their flesh God is dealing with their fears and he's trying to get their minds out of this world and onto him well if you've ever heard their testimony there are a lot of people that bless them and you know God has instructed these same people to bless them provision wise so have you missed that point that God has you know blessed that person through that other believer you know a lot of times a lot of believers are like well God has led me to give this to you it's like one time that I wanted to go to you know a a class my church had it on Tuesdays and it was like a, a, a sonship class well I had enough money you know enough gas to get down to the next town which was like 20 or so miles away to my church and if I was to do that, then I had no money to get back. But God had come through so many times in my faith walk that this was, you know, something that was nothing to him. So I went down and I asked God by faith for his provision, not only for gas, but for milk. And so while I was in the class, a brother sat next to me and he said, God led me to, you know, I feel from God that I need to give this to you. And that's the point that I'm making. And it was the amount of money that I needed. Now, these people that you're so critical of, you know, for their faith walks, did you just hear what was said? That person felt led from God to give that amount, not only to me, but so many others. So what does that say about God's character? What does that say about God's position for somebody that is walking in faith? Why are you being so critical of me and so many others when God is plainly has, you know, stated his view on faith? Are you so wrapped up in this worldly thinking that, you know, it's all about financial success and that you've got to be successful that your mind is so wrapped around it that you're believing these, you know, laws of success and these Adamic laws that it's interfering in grace and love for your brother and sister. So, you know, this is the point that I wanted to make or points, I should say. And if you're critical with a brother or sister for their faith walk, then you really need to seek God and find out his love and how he views this brother or sister's faith. So I just wanted to point that out there. Thanks for watching.